What's up, my legends? It's Sion. We are back, and we're going to be taking on Sharon today. Uh, so pretty much what I'm going to do is we're going to go in, and you'll get party info. All right. You don't have to do it this way, but the good thing about it is if you do it this way, which is the correct way, then you don't really have to worry about whaling. Somebody free to play a casual could win this way, and that's the whole point. You, want, you just want to win. Now... You need either uh, you need Olive, Anuet, and Cordelia, and the reason why is because the third fight you need to not be frozen, and it happens during the second round as well because of one mob, and then you are actually going to be immune to charm as well with Olive, and then you get increased attack for Cordelia. Now, if you don't have these characters, a lot of people will have a 60 Cordelia now, so you can use the Cordelia, but it's neither here nor there, so you might as well just, you know, go ahead and get in there and try it this way and see if you win. So I'm using those, and you, of course, you do not want to use Clarice, uh, Sniper, Yan, which I don't think anybody ever will be, but is what it is. All right, so let's go in. All right, so I'm using my, this is my advent section, and you see already I have somebody here who's uh, who has a Cordelia, so we're going to team up with them. And you see, I pretty much have the passive ready for all three of them. So let's get in there. And whatever. I cut that off. Kind of doesn't matter in the beginning. Um. you do that all right do I want to do that yeah just negate majority of this damage all right that didn't kill him Push him, and there we go, that round's over. All right, now this round, the one on the left is gonna freeze, the one on the right is gonna have a buff if you keep attacking him, that he's gonna get stronger. The one in the middle explodes. Um, normally what you should probably do, I why am I stunned? Oh yeah, from the last round. What you should probably do is actually go in and take him out because I already have Morgan ready and she's probably just going to smack him so he doesn't have that buff. That leaves the middle one and the left one I can kind of ignore because we're not going to get frozen. Alright. So. And you see he can't freeze us because we have the passive. Alright, so he's going to get bigger, which is annoying. All right, he's stunned now. She is stunned, which is a bit of a problem. He is stunned. All right, so I am just going to hoi ya that and hope he doesn't do that. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm just going to stall. And we're gonna stall again. Stall to get back to Ramu. Alright, just let them heal. Probably should have did the one in the middle, but it's fine. Again, I'm gonna keep stalling and let Ramu heal everybody. Alright, that's enough. All right, now for the big homie. Well, not the big homie, the young lady herself. And remember, we're actually, she can't um, charm, so that's like neither here nor there. And she's gonna call out an ad and she won't be able to freeze with the ad. At about probably 35%, she's gonna start enraging and pretty much hitting us with a big hit. And we need to just survive as best as possible until then. 
Alright, so what I like to do is wait for all that to happen. Whatever. Um not yet. I'll do it next one. Alright, so she just got me with the intoxicate. Which pretty much is going to make me um, be stunned at the end of it and have a chance to miss. And she just caught her with it. Alright, uh, hmm. Let's do that for now. Drag her down a little bit. Yikes. Fine. I like to time this a little bit better. All right. Hmm. She can't hit Olive, so. Oh, she might be able to after this. Uh, thanks for hitting Morgan. Let's do this. Alright, I need you to kill Sharon and not be fail. Thank you! And there we go. That's a wrap. That's how you take down Sharon. All right, so just to let you guys see here what um, team I was using again and what was on them. I have my Morgan, which she's always Bay. This is what she has on. This is her details. I don't know if I actually did it properly the first time in the early part of the video, so let's look at everything here. This is what she had. This is what my Ramu has. My Ramu really isn't all that great, as you can see. This is my olive. Whoops. Because I happen to like... Stop doing that. I happen to like olive. She doesn't have her passive. She will in the future. This is my annulet. And I was using Cordelia, a level 60 Cordelia, um, who was on my friends list. He's pretty good. I believe he's a two star um, Cordelia. So, yeah, that's how you take him out. Like, this is the human way to do it, non wailing and the proper way that you're supposed to fight once again. And the reason I keep putting emphasis on that is because it's not a justice of actually showing you how to fight the fight when you're always really supposed to beat it when you're like drastically stronger with a whole bunch of six purple stars like no it's not the way it's supposed to go um right here let's go in again you, you just pay attention to this all you have to do is get the characters that negate majority of what the boss does like you see again I couldn't be charmed, I couldn't be frozen, and I had increased damage from Cordelia being out there on all my targets. So even though I lost one target, um, I lost, actually I lost two targets. Well, first, the um, second round, I probably should have killed the mid first, but it kind of didn't matter in the end, because I had the fight completely in hand. I knew what to do and how to take it down. So it, it is what it is. Like if you want to have a more smoother fight, probably take down the mid, and then take down right and then take down left. You really don't even need to pay attention in the second round to the, the freezing enemy because the freezing enemy can't freeze you because the pass is here. And this is the proper way that you take down Sharon. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you guys next video. Peace and see you soon.